Untera is one of the strangest crossovers on the Russian market. And not because the German name hides a car built on the GM Theta platform, assembled in Korea, Mexico, Canada, or Russia. It happens. Untera is strange because it does not cause violent emotions. Well, there is, and it's good. It wouldn't be, and to hell with it. And outwardly, not everyone will immediately remember her. Or maybe in vain. Maybe this car deserves more attention. It remains to be seen what its owners think about it. As I said, Antara is built on the GM Theta platform, which means that its closest relative is the Chevrolet Captiva. True, Antara turned out to be a little richer than Captiva. And the finishing materials, and the Shumka, and the whole interior as a whole, Opal turned out to be more pleasant than the American version. The premiere of the serial Unterroth took place at the Paris Motor Show in 2006, and its sales began in the same year. At that time, the range of crossover engines was quite modest by today's standards. Gasoline engines were represented by a 2.4-liter 4 with a capacity of 140 horsepower and a 3.2-liter V6 with 227 horsepower. There was only one diesel engine at the start, a 2-liter with a capacity of 150 horsepower. A little later, in 2007, the same engine was also offered in a derated version with 127 horsepower. Of course, the car could be bought with both manual and automatic transmission. And the role of the latter was the Japanese 5-speed Aizen AW55-51. In 2011, a restyled Intera was shown at the Geneva Motor Show. The main innovation is new engines and automatic transmission. The base 2.4-liter engine has become completely different, with the timing chain and the V6, although it has remained the same series, has become more powerful. Worse, during this restyling, a more or less decent Eisen automatic transmission was replaced with a not-quite-decent GM 6T40-6T45 craft, to which playful Ford pins were attached, we wrote about its problems in some detail. The rest of the changes were not so significant and mainly concerned equipment, security, and multimedia systems. Cars for the Russian market were first assembled at the GM plant near St. Petersburg and since 2011 at the Kaliningrad Avtoder. The release of Intera was completed in 2016, so this car stood on the assembly line for quite a long time. And yet, she never became some kind of symbol of the crossover boom in Russia. Did she turn out bad? No, not bad, but rather a compromise. What is it like? Hate number five, the operation of the rain sensor, heated seats, and climate control. You might think that somehow there are too many reasons for not the most significant hatred, which took only fifth place. Okay, I agree, there is little logic here. But this is only at first glance. But if you reread dozens, or even more, reviews, the logic is immediately found. A lot of anter owners swear at the rain sensor, heating, and climate with enviable regularity. And even those who otherwise praise the car do it. What is wrong with them? They sometimes talk about the rain sensor in some detail of the shortcomings, only a specific rain sensor can be noted, which works literally a second after my hand begins to reach for the control lever. Most often they complain about the delay, which cannot be overcome, which is why this option is often considered simply useless. Many cannot stand it and turn on the wipers manually, the rain sensor is late by 3 seconds, the glass has already been thrown, everything is already floating and it is not visible, and it erases with the wipers, and all over again. And sometimes they swear at the opposite can't earlier switching on, the windshield wipers are often turned on either late, or vice versa, they turn on unnecessarily. But this is much less common. But the response delay is a classic. With climate control, the situation is similar, he thinks too long. And in addition, it works too sharply, the climate control is set up about the same, unsuccessfully. It is difficult to catch a comfortable temperature. However, it should be noted that there are no complaints about the operation of the stove and air conditioner. If you adjust the temperature in the cabin with your hands, Anter is warm in winter and cool in summer. But the seat heating, apparently, is a cruel thing. 
People often complain that its development was ordered from devils and hell, it fries mercilessly. Moreover, the presence of several steps does not solve the problem, and even in the most gentle mode, you can fry yourself the place that sits in the chair. But, for example, the lower back or back cannot only be fried, but simply warmed up, there is no heating zone there. Seat heating heats only the under asterisk opno space, does not heat the lower back, and even more so the back. It heats up to a comfortable state for a long time, 8 to 10 minutes, but then you need to urgently turn it off altogether, or it will fry like in a pan for another 10 minutes. In general, something is wrong with the logic in the operation of these systems. Love number 5, LKP. A declaration of love for the quality of the body color very carefully put in fifth place. It would be possible to raise it even higher, but there is one detail that does not give it a moral right. This detail is the fifth door, which rusts under the plastic lining almost without exception. Interestingly, the ugly molding of the lining, which scratches the paint, is to blame for this. Over time, when there were a lot of enter owners, they accumulated experience and issued a solution to the problem. Immediately after buying the car, it was necessary to remove this overlay and sand the bird to a human appearance. Those who did it right away saved their doors. The rest repainted them under warranty or at their own expense. And this door is the only thing that rusts on Antara, unless, of course, you hit the car itself against hard objects. Otherwise, the paintwork deserves only praise, we can note the good quality of the paintwork. For more than five years of operation, no rust has come out, the paintwork and the metal in general are very good. During the period of operation, almost nothing was scratched, no chips appeared except for very small ones. By the way, chips do not rust for a very long time. And that, of course, is also good. Hate number four, four-wheel drive. It was impossible to pass by the implementation of all-wheel drive, although I got the impression that those who bought Antara by mistake instead of the UAZ complained about it. Those who bought an urban crossover are more likely to be satisfied. By and large, there is only one complaint about the electronic clutch, it works later than it should. A useless option with an electronic viscous coupling, it works every other time, worse than the usual one, which works mechanically. In defense of Antara, I'll clarify that in the original review, the author uses the new term fixed coupling that he introduced. So it seems that the problem is still more in the author than in the clutch. However, this is not a single complaint, all-wheel drive is not needed at all. Of the off-road properties, only ground clearance and that's it, all-wheel drive is connected with a delay. Well, especially crazy ones, of course, resent the most. Just evaluate what they want from Antara, spelling and punctuation preserved, the snow killed him like an off-road vehicle, however, there is ice under the snow and the snow level is about a meter. Catastrophe got stuck two times, got upset. Hmm, disappointed. A meter layer of snow, below ice. Anyone would be upset. Meanwhile, the madmen insist, forced locking is not enough, at least a forcibly connected all-wheel drive. Poor Antara. Love number four, value for money. Of course, this feature of the crossover was the most valuable at the time of choosing it new in the showroom. But over time, it has not lost much of its relevance. It's still nice to buy a car that has everything a budget brand car can have. Well, about 10 years ago, many even bought Antara only because, for that kind of money, of course, I could not find such sizes and equipment from other brands. Indeed, even in the drum trim and Thoreau looked good. And we can partly agree with this point of view, in terms of price, quality, comfort, many models of the concern, in my opinion, had no competitors. I think that in Thoreau, like a number of other models, is undeservedly underestimated in the secondary market due to extremely populist perceptions of our consumer, who often chooses not with a pragmatic mind, but with the emotions and advice of neighbors. Most of those who contacted Opal did not regret their choice. True, they had to listen to dozens of the same type of jokes about the fact that any car becomes an Opal with age. But nothing somehow survived. Hate number three, start-stop system. There are two problems with the start-stop system. 
The first is that it cannot be disabled somewhere in the settings once and for all. There is only one way, by pressing the eco key. Those who had this system only saved themselves with this button, I press the eco button as soon as I sit down, I just turn it off. I'm used to it already. Always remember. The second problem arises if this function is not disabled every time. Let's give the word to the victim, if you use the start stop, the starter will close very quickly, this function is raw and has not been finalized to the mind for a cold climate. All opals have a general problem with this function. The malfunction manifests itself from 40,000 to 90,000 kilometers. I was driving in a traffic jam in the city, stopped at an intersection, and the start stop function worked. And that's it. The engine does not start anymore. Power cable failure melting inside the cable of the terminals that fit the starter and generator. And many are convinced that when the car goes out of warranty, the wires will definitely be charred. You have to go to the official dealer and demand the replacement of the power cable. Of course, the warranty period has already ended, but the problem remains. Replacing the cable is a temporary solution, and it is still better to turn off the system. And there is nothing surprising in the fact that anger often has no limits. The start-stop function is a big hemorrhoids. Love number three, the number of non-genuine parts and ease of maintenance. Let's be honest, Anthuros dealer service has never been cheap. And, apparently, the problem was not the cost of standard hours, but the greatly inflated prices for spare parts and consumables. People often covered themselves with cold sweat, but they did not dare to lose the guarantee ahead of time. Time passed, and it turned out that the spare parts are not so expensive if you do not buy them from a dealer, and the simplicity of the design allows you to maintain and even repair Antara in almost any service. It was a little more difficult for the owners of diesel cars, but over time they found their services. Now there are no GM dealers in the daytime with fire, so there are no high prices. And all spare parts and consumables are not so expensive, the modest cost of spare parts and consumables does not pleasantly hit the pocket. And one more plus, you can do a lot and enter on your own. I abandoned the OD. I began to change consumables myself. Everything is elementary and cheap, spare parts are pennies, I change consumables myself, you can change a lot of things yourself. The same pads are even easier to change than on jig. Of course, many change their minds on this issue dramatically when repairing diesels or GM automatic transmissions. But they are not on all machines. Hate number two, surprises. Pleasant surprises are, of course, good. But Anthara, as a rule, is generous with unpleasant ones. It cannot be said that there are many of them, but they are, and they greatly spoil the impression of the car. And most importantly, they don't let them believe in it unlimitedly. To be honest, I have ambivalent feelings. There is no trust. I don't want to go long distance on Anthara. Someone was more unlucky, and the opinion of the unlucky ones is more definite. Opal is always fun. Jokes are different. ABS sensors may unexpectedly turn on, after which the all-wheel drive car will become a mono-wheel drive. Parking sensors may stop working, a regular immobilizer may fail, navigation or the stove motor may stop working. It seems little things, but they do not add faith in the car. At the same time, some are not familiar with such gifts from the car at all. But in the end, the opinion about the car turns out to be ambiguous. Yes, Opal is a car with surprises. You can drive and not know grief, or you can not get out of the service. Not the most pleasant feature for a car, to be honest. Especially for one that is often bought as a family car. Love number two, chassis. The concept of chassis includes a lot. Strictly speaking, this is an assembled set of transmission units, chassis units, and control mechanisms. Let's leave aside GM machines, they are still dissatisfied with them. But everything else the owners of Enter praise loudly and with all the power of their lungs. The best part is that they do it objectively. Of course, a crossover cannot compete with a sports coupe in handling, but adequate owners do not require this from it, no, the car does not have any outstanding sporting qualities or some kind of polished handling. 
but it rushes like a tank, no matter what's under the wheels and how fast you're going. The Entera has the most important feature of a crossover, an excellent balance between the handling of a city car and the ability to sometimes move from a very good road to a not so good one. In most cases, this is sufficient. It is easy to go to the dacha, sometimes go mushrooming or fishing quite, if without fanaticism. In a word, there is complete order. Suspension deserves special words. Sometimes they say that Entera is harsh on the go. They rarely speak, not forgetting to mention her ability to drive both on the highway and on country roads. Therefore, more often all the same, the suspension is praised, the suspension eats up absolutely all the bumps, I never remember being able to break through it. Cherry on the cake, a very good reliability of the chassis. There are practically no complaints about its resource, but many are happy with the margin of safety, all suspension elements, it feels like they are from a truck massive and reliable. Hate number one, fuel consumption. Consumption is a real scourge of anti owners. Owners of crossovers with V6 engines console themselves with the fact that their cars have at least some kind of dynamics and, which seems to them much more important, amuse themselves with kinship with Cadillac, which uses the same engine in some of its cars. But the expense, of course, is far from childish, 18 in summer, in winter with warming up to 23. Moreover, Antara still does not become a Cadillac. Owners of 2.4-liter gasoline engines also sometimes cry. Here, the consumption, of course, is a little more modest, but still too big. It's hard to put up with consumption. It didn't work below 13 liters, even on the highway. As desired with his appetite. Do you think the owners of diesel cars are very happy? No matter how, with active city driving, my average consumption is in the region of 12 to 13 liters per 100 kilometers, which is definitely a lot for a 2.2 liter diesel engine. On the highway, however, sometimes they fit into 8 liters. In a word, it is very sad to stop at the gas station on Anter. Love number one, Salon. Here again, I must say a big thank you to the objectivity of the car owners. There is nothing fantastic in the interior of Unthera. Sometimes it even seems archaic, and not to today's buyers, but to those who first saw it in a car dealership in a new car. But its quality factor always outweighs some excessive severity. The salon does not shine with beauty and looks like an alien from the recent past. However, this does not prevent it from being of high quality, having decent finishing materials and good ergonomics. Everyone notes not so much the build quality as the quality of the materials themselves. They are not only pleasing to the eye and touch, but also quite wear resistant. The materials are of high quality, there is no cheap plastic, the entire interior trim is made of soft foam, nothing creaks. In addition, as I said, it does not seem poor even in inexpensive trim levels. And yet, according to the owners of Anter, it is very conveniently organized. I like almost everything about the cabin. Good plastic, everything is at hand, eight, seat drives, pronounced lateral support, a sunroof, navigation in Russia, a lot of boxes. For some reason, many people are especially pleased with this very heap of boxes. Everywhere there are pockets, hooks, latches, light bulbs, everything is convenient and thought out. For many, this salon played a decisive role in choosing a car, especially when compared with the Captiva platform. Her salon to the salon of Unterrad does not hold out much. Much is forgiven for Anter's interior. They forgive not only the surprises that we talked about above, but also the timing change stretching to a run of 100,000 kilometers on V6 engines, flying with even lower runs of the GM automatic transmission, a knocking steering rack, a rusting fifth door. Apparently, something Koreans and Germans were able to do really well. So much so that many regret that GM in Russia once slammed the door and left. It is a pity that he did not take his 6T40-6T45 machine gun with him. Maybe we'd be even more bored here.